Hello, beautiful humans, and welcome to this live training. I am so excited you're here and just so, so freaking grateful that you took time out of your incredibly busy schedule and your insane life to sign up, to click on the link, to join this training, and to show up and be here right now. So just give yourself a massive pat on the back for being here. I, for one, am so grateful to share this experience with you, and I'm so grateful to be able to share this story with you. I know that it's going to be so impactful. I know that it's going to empower and equip you in a whole new way. The skills that I'm going to teach you in this training video, the skills of manifestation, the skills of um, harnessing the power of the law of attraction can be applied to absolutely any situation. So we're not just going to talk about manifestation. Um, you know, the principles that we're going to talk about today aren't just for manifesting your apartment, they're for manifesting relationships and jobs and promotions and like spouses and there's so many different and pay rises, like there's so many different things that we can um, manifest into our lives, beautiful nourishing like relationships with girlfriends and friendships. So there's so many beautiful things that you can apply this exact same principle to that I'm just so excited to teach you guys today. So thank you so much for being here again. Like I said, just so, so grateful that you're here. And it's so funny when I imagine myself doing this training, I had a blue background. I had no idea where I would be today. I didn't know where I'd be working, but I just pictured when I was decided to do this training I pictured myself speaking in front of a blue background and I didn't know if it would be the ocean or what it would be but here we are a lovely background manifested like that um today I'm not going to keep you guys for very long I want to hit as many points as I can as quickly as I can the thing with manifestation and the things that I want to cover in this training is that it really is a like it all works if you work it these processes there's so many different teachers on the law of attraction and manifestation and I um you know I don't want to just be another voice in the noise I really just want to empower you guys to take what makes sense to you from any training and I say this at the beginning of all my trainings and all my videos and all the stuff that I do ever take what makes sense to you and leave the rest like one of my favorite Ralph Waldo Emerson quotes is take what has been to you or gather all of the words that have been to you like the blast of a trumpet so it's like make your own bible take what makes sense and leave the rest there are so many different tools and techniques and ways to go about this and Honestly, guys, there's no right or wrong way to do this. There's specific techniques that I think speed up the process, that make it easier, more joyful, more fun. But once you've got the basics, once you, um, that I'm going to outline in this training, once you've got the basics, you can really apply it to any situation and you can do it in a way that feels really good for you. So just check in with yourself, um, really honor the way that you're feeling throughout this entire training, take whatever makes sense to you and just leave the rest. So without further ado, I'm going to dive straight in. Um, I'm so excited to tell this story. If you can't tell, as you can probably tell already I'm so excited to tell this story and I'm so excited to share this journey because it was one for me that just solidified my faith so freaking much you guys like I was so on the fence about manifestation for a while I don't know does this work is this really for me like can I apply this I've seen all that I'd seen all these amazing success stories of people manifesting houses and cars and boats and yachts and all these incredible things and I was like look that's great for them but can this work for me and this like there's been a, quite a few things like a lot of things that I've manifested in my life but nothing quite as big as this yet um there has been bigger things since which um i'll probably touch on another training like my trip over here to la and different things like that but this was really like the tipping point for me where i was like you know what this shit works like this is legit this is really freaking powerful and also i'm really powerful like I can have the power to harness this to use this and to put this into practice to create whatever I want it's just such and this is the bottom line like manifestation is in a, isn't about like getting what you necessarily want like it's about feeling empowered and knowing that you have the power to create your own reality that's what it's about for me that's like the like that's the point i think most people are missing like for me it's really all about reminding us how powerful we are and co-creating knowing that we can co-create whatever we want whether it's a house or a car or a boat or world peace like co-create with god on earth as it is in heaven so i'm so excited to share this story and when i was going through this whole process and this all happened um over the course of last year so 2017 from like um i think it was september no it was, that's right it was january 26 2017 all the way till september 2017 when i moved into my beautiful new apartment i'm going to show you in a minute but when i was i remember when as i was going through this process i was constantly thinking i'm so excited to share this story i'm so excited to teach people like when this works when this happens when this all unfolds and comes to fruition really beautifully and organically i am so excited to teach people how to do this and i'm so excited to share this story with others just as an example and just as like that big that big of hope that this stuff works and that if I can do 
it and just empower them with the knowledge that like and empower you guys with the knowledge that if I can do it, you can do it too. There is absolutely nothing special about me in the sense that I don't have anything that you don't have. I haven't um, done anything that you can't do yourselves. And this is exactly what I want to teach you today in this training. So we're going to hit five main points today and don't hold me to that because sometimes I go off on a tangent. Sometimes five points ends up being 10. Sometimes it ends up being six. Like sometimes it might be two, but just if you grab a pen and paper, that's right. Pause this recording. If you haven't already got a pen, piece of pen and paper, uh, piece of paper and a pen with you, go and get one because you're going to want to write this shit down. So we're going to hit five main points today. And like I said, take what makes sense to you and leave the rest. You can tweak and, and change and manipulate like this however you want to, however it feels good for you. But this is what I did and this is um, how I'm going to help you to do it too. The first point, oh, I just want to show you really quickly. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of the backstory and then we'll get into the five points. So towards the beginning of 2017, I had like I'd manifested my other apartment, which I was living with my beautiful girlfriend, Emma, in right in the heart of Sydney's Northern Beaches. And our lease was coming up for renewal. Long story short, I got the feeling that I wasn't meant to stay in that house. That house was everything I ever wanted. It was beautiful. It was like literally smack bang in the middle of four different beaches, like diagonally in all four directions was like ocean and beach. It was so central. It was cozy. It, it was new. It was like renovated. It was like had beautiful lavender walls. Like it was perfect. But every time I sat my butt in meditation towards the end of um, our lease agreement, I just got the sense and I just got the feeling that it was time to leave and it was time to move on and it was time to there was something bigger and better waiting for me out there so I made the decision and long story short I made the decision to end um, the lease or to not resign for the new for the next 12 months for the new lease and to go on the hunt for this brand new apartment that I was like wanted to call as my reality that was supposedly bigger and better and around that same time I got the nudge and the urge to pack up everything into so I packed up everything and put it into storage and I started living out of a suitcase for like three months and during that time that's how this process was all unfolding so as it was all unfolding as I was going through it I was literally moving around between like my God mother's house between like friends houses between like short-term rentals just knowing and what enabled me to do that was like the certainty and security um, of this vision that I had in my head so that brings me to my first point so the first thing we're going to talk about today the first step in manifesting your dream apartment is to get super clear on what you want like I can't even stress the importance of this enough you guys I had a session with a client this morning and we were talking about she's really struggling to make decisions at the moment and one of the biggest things that happens when there's confusion and lack of clarity and like um like doubt around what we're meant to be doing it's because we haven't set a clear enough vision for where we want to be going right so it's like we think that I'm just making sure the audio is working yet yeah, it's cool <laughs> um so when we don't have a clear enough vision of where it is that we're going, it's going to be really hard to make decisions about what to do next. And like, it's going to be really hard for us to decide like which path to take, which fork in the road, which direction do I go? Because we don't have a really clear understanding of where we want to be. So get the first step is you guys to get super clear on what you want to manifest and what you want to create more specifically how you want to feel. And this was a game changer for me. I had this vision in my head and this is a little like inside tip that no one actually knows, but I had got given a vision by God, my high self, the divine, the universe, my soul, whatever you want to call it, as I was moving out of my old apartment, of the new apartment that I was going to be moving into. So I didn't as much, so much as decide where I wanted to live as it was decided for me and shown to me. And that's not to say that if I hadn't have like had this vision, that's not exactly what I would have chosen because it is like your soul knows you better than anyone. Your soul, you know, your soul is you. It's the highest, most like wise, loving, kindest version of you. Right. So it's like your soul knows what you want on the deepest level. Your soul is tapped into like your truest desires, your purest desires, your purest, like your highest intentions and your purest intentions. So trust her when she shows your freaking vision. So my, my soul actually showed me this vision and it was probably the only thing, to be honest, like it was probably the only thing that could have gotten me to move out of the apartment that I was in was this vision because it just excited, like excited me so freaking much. It was this vision of this apartment that was literally on the water. Like I would wake up in the morning and the first thing that I would see would be blue, just an expanse of blue. The sun rising over the ocean, dolphins playing in the harbour outside. Um feeling and more than that it was the feeling that I got when I anchored into the vision that was just like so freaking powerful it was like 
expansive. It was limitless. It was like, if I can live here, I can do freaking anything. Like I just felt so empowered by this vision and also just so excited because like, hello, who doesn't? Well, for me, like it's always been my dream to live on the water and to live like in an ocean front apartment where I wake up every morning and I can see the ocean from my bedroom window. So that was my vision. And that was the vision that I had in my head. And I literally imagined, like I saw myself, I guess I could literally see myself getting out of bed, standing in front of the floor to ceiling mirrors um, and like dancing around to a beautiful song that I put on and just being like so blissfully happy and just so in tune with who I am and why, who she like this, this woman in the, in the vision of me, the future version of me was just so in tune with who she was and why she's here. So that was really empowering inspiring for me so the next thing that I did with this vision is that I wrote a script and this is something that I've trained about before it's something that I learned from Peter Kelly and her mastermind the supercharge but it's a manifestation technique that a lot of people use um, and we've just happened to call it scripting because that's what makes sense for me so the idea is to write out your ideal day it's like a twist on the ideal day exercise the idea is to write out your you want to write out your ideal day as if it's already happening happened or as if it's happening now but as if it's like you're writing it as a story you're writing it as a narrative in which you are the main character so I took this vision that I'd been given and that I downloaded and I transcribed it into a narrative that made a lot of sense to me and that connected with my heart I'm a writer like words make so much freaking sense to me it's insane and they just like they connect so deeply with like the like my heart the deepest part of my being so words make a lot of sense to me some people record this on audio like if that makes sense to you speak it or like write it then speak it and then listen to the audio but for me it was writing it out and I literally said my script went along the lines of I wake up to the sun streaming into the room of my brand new apartment the light hits my beautiful pink cotton doona and a cool ocean breeze flows, flows through the massive open window I climb out of bed with a smile on my face silently listing three things I'm grateful for to start the day I'm grateful for my amazing healthy body I'm grateful for my beautiful family I'm grateful for the oceans of abundance that float effortlessly into my life and do you see how easily that came to me that's because I read that script every morning and every night for three solid months. Like I'm not even kidding you guys. It was probably a little bit longer than that by the time from like when I had this vision in like the, at the end of January to when I moved into my apartment in September, I read this script every single morning and every single night. And it went on and on and on. There was like three or four pages maybe like front and back of my ideal day and what it looked like, my dream, where I was living, what I was doing, what I'd work, what my relationships felt like. I shit you not, every single thing in that script ended up coming to fruition by September of that year. And if there was anything in there that didn't, it would, it came like it came to fruition like two or three weeks later. Like it was just uncanny how quickly um, or how accurately or how concisely it all happened. So I wrote out the script and I really anchored into, like when you're writing the script, you guys get really, I got really specific on how I wanted to feel. So not only the specifics of my physical environment, where I was, where like where the apartment was, like what, um, what it looked like and try not to, and this is the tipping point. It's a really fine line between like holding, between getting specific and then attaching to outcomes. And there's a fine line here and you don't want to cross it, right? So getting specific is saying like, and if this is so new to you, please just like take it easy on yourself and just have fun with it. The biggest thing is just getting your script out and you can tweak and, and maneuver things around along the way. But the biggest thing is, is like being specific is saying like, um, I'm perched atop my white linen couch sipping an almond milk latte with honey rather than like um, my couch is in the middle of the living room on um, I'm living on like this particular street in this particular suburb in this particular like let God let div let the divine universal intelligence figure out the specifics you just figure out you just decide and not even figure out because it's like literally it's so much simpler than that you just decide how you want to feel and I read the most beautiful thing the other day the root of the Latin word meaning decide actually means in Latin to cut off so literally to get rid of all the other options so when you decide let go of all the other options because you've decided and that's just it and that's where your certainty comes from because you decide because that's it because it's because you said so and that's just it and that's just beautiful and that's just final so so I yeah dream really freaking big with this so I got clear on what it is that I wanted like where like what specifically I wanted to see 
what I wanted to hear, what I wanted to touch, how I wanted and how I wanted it to feel. Like you guys, that is the, that's the secret source to manifestation is your feeling, right? Because every feeling that you have creates an energetic ripple that sends vibrational energy out into the universe that attracts back to you whatever it is that you're emitting. So the frequency that you are putting out is what you will experience reflected back. Whether you're feeling joyful, whether you're feeling excited, whether you're feeling scared, whether you're feeling anxious, whatever you're emanating out is what you will receive back. It's a beautiful thing when we learn how to use it in a really like empowering and powerful way. So when you're doing your script, dream really freaking big. There was nothing in my reality that made sense or that told me that I could be living in an apartment like this. I wasn't making the kind of money that would be required logically to live in an apartment on the, like on the water in Manly in the heart of Sydney, not the beaches. I wasn't, um, I wasn't, I didn't know anyone that lived in an apartment that I could move into. I didn't grow up with a lot of money. I didn't have family that could just like pay for my rent. Like there was no, the logistics of it, like it didn't make sense. It did not make logical sense for me to be dreaming like this, but that didn't stop me. It didn't stop me from dreaming really freaking big and from really taking ownership, like giving myself permission to dream big, but also taking ownership of what I really truly desired and allowing myself to really claim that and own that and decide on that, regardless of what my external circumstances and my bank account were telling me at the time. So this is the vision that I held on to every single day for the however many months it is from January until September until I moved into this house. When I would read my script, I would get really, really comfortable, but also get really invested in what I was reading. I would anchor into and visualize and anchor into, I would visualize and anchor into the feeling of already having received what it was that I wanted. So I would picture myself waking up in that apartment. I would feel in my body the feelings of joy and peace and bliss and excitement that come from um that came from looking out and seeing dolphins playing in the harbor outside my window or the ocean like rolling in or the blue, the expanse of blue around me. In case you can't tell blue is one of my favorite colours. It's the colour of the throat chakra and that represents communication and authenticity, which are two of my like biggest things that just make me me, right? So I, uh, so blue, yeah, being surrounded by blue, how powerful I would feel, how excited I would feel. I took that and I let those feelings determine my actions. And this is step number two, act as if you've already received it. And you'll hear this from every manifestation teacher that knows their stuff, knows their shit, right? Act as if you've already received it. Live your life as though you've already received it. Speak as though you've already received it. Every single person that I spoke to, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm living out of a suitcase. I'm homeless right now. I'm like going between apartments. I don't really know where I'm going to live. I would say I'm manifesting my dream apartment in the heart of Sydney's Northern Beaches. I'm manifesting an apartment in Manly. I'm manifesting my dream. Like, um, oh, I'm moving into my apartment soon. Oh, when? Oh, I'm not sure yet, but I know that it's coming. Like this was the certainty with which I spoke and we all know that our words create our reality. You guys, it's just like, it's plain and simple. You can, you have the power within you to speak. You have the power within you to speak things into existence. So every conversation that I had, I would speak as though I, I already had it and that as though it was coming to me rapidly. So rather than getting lost in like doubt and insecurity and uncertainty, I would just anchor back into that security and certainty. Oh, my apartment's coming. Oh, I'm just like, I'm manifesting this apartment. Do you want me to tell you all about it? It's going to be here and it's going to be this and it's going to be amazing. And it's going to feel beautiful. There are people that are going to get this and there are people that are not. Focus on the people that get it. Focus, surround yourself with the people that get it, right? That was another thing. Number three, we're going to release the doubts and release the fears. One of the quickest ways to do this, and I don't want to touch on this too much, but when you release... Yeah, when you release your doubts, all you want to do, you guys, is get really clear on what your doubts are. So whenever you set a big dream, vision, intention, goal immediately what's going to come up is the limiting beliefs that are blocking you from getting there. So if I set the goal, for example, to earn $20,000 a month, immediately what's going to come up in the face of that, that's a big freaking goal for someone that's just starting out in their own business. What immediately is going to come up is all of the reasons your unconscious mind thinks that you can't do it. Who the hell do you think you are? How are you going to manifest the money? What are you going to do? I'm just going to write this. Um, what are you going to do to do this? Like, um, immediately it's going to become abundantly clear. All of the things, all of the things that were holding you back are going to become abundantly clear. Your job is to witness them and then let them go. The 
only exercise that I have for doing that that I've found that really, really works for me, and there's plenty out there, but this is the one that I use, is to write down your fears and write down your doubts, literally just pen and paper, get them all out, let your unconscious, unconscious mind go freaking crazy with all the fears and doubts and reasons why it won't happen and can't happen. Literally write down the bottom, I am willing to release what no longer serves me. I consciously and courageously release these beliefs that no longer serve me and then rewrite the story. Rewrite all the reasons that you know you can have it. Rewrite all the reasons or write out all of the reasons that you know that you're worthy of it. Write the new story that says that you are so worthy of having your desires. And that is going to, that's the process that's going to retrain your brain to look for opportunities rather than constantly being stifled by what um, what's blocking you or what's been holding you back for so long that you don't even know it's there. The next thing to do is to let go of the how. So there's a couple of things that we need to focus on the manifestation and that is the what. So what is it that we want? It's the why. Why do we want it? So part of the reason for me wanting this dream apartment is that I know that when I'm in this space of openness and expansiveness and limitlessness and sense of like intense, beautiful power, so just watch me move us, um, this beautiful power, I can show up for my clients in a whole new freaking way, for my clients and for the world, for the people in my life, for the um, people in my relationships, my family, my friends, my partner, whoever it is at the time. I can show up in such a more powerful way for them when I am feeling limitless, when I'm tapped into that beautiful sense of freedom and expansiveness and joy within me. And I know I don't need an apartment to do that. I don't need to be living on the beach to do that. But I know that living in an apartment like that facilitates that feeling and that state of consciousness so much easier and so much quicker and for so much more of an extended period of time. So it's like by me receiving, and I had an affirmation at the time about receiving the oceans of abundance, like quite literally the oceans, the oceans of abundance coming into my life. Thank you so much for God. God's wealth is circulating my life. I receive oceans of abundance with gratitude. I know that the more I receive, the more I can give. The more I'm filling up by where I live, by what I do, by what I eat, by the things that I nourish myself with on a daily basis, the brighter that I can shine the it's just as simple as that the more that i can give the more that i have to offer the world the higher that i can vibe the more i have to give be like the, the easier the greater service that i can be right so the next time you feel guilty the next time you feel icky the next time you feel wrong or bad or whatever for wanting more or for desiring to like experience this like next level oceans of abundance and bliss and love and success and joy keep that in mind and please just don't let any doubts or beliefs of you're not worthy of it or you don't deserve it or whatever wave a freshly manicured finger in their face and say you know what the more i receive the more i can give that's it full stop end of story i'm here to be a light to the world the more i receive the more i can give that's it um but let go of how it's going to happen that's what i was going to say so anchor into the so what do you want anchor into why you want it it's so powerful when we attach emotion to it it's like it's like rocket fuel for our desires for our manifestations but then let go of the how and let go of the when let go of how it's going to come to fruition i had no freaking idea like i said before there was no logical reason why i should be able to live in an ocean front we were in multi-million dollar apartment at 24 years old but I just knew that if this was a desire in my heart and I implemented these tools and practices and principles, then God would deliver for me. And he did just so beautifully and so effortlessly and so perfectly. Um, so let go of how it's going to happen. That's not your responsibility. The universe will deliver to you when, what it is that you want when in the timing that is best for you, um, given your soul's blueprint and the, the evolution of your consciousness. But it's not your responsibility to figure out how it's going to come to you. It's not your responsibility to figure out the details, the finer details, how all the pieces are going to fit together. And this is so hard for me to let go of because I have such an analytical mind and I always want to know why, like why did it work and how this and how that let go, just completely release the doubts and completely let go and surrender up the ideas, your ideas about how this is going to happen. A beautiful story and example of this is when I had attached to a particular street that I wanted to live on only because that was the only street that I knew of that had ocean views in this particular area that I wanted to live in. I had lunch with a girlfriend a couple of days before I moved, no, before I got, before I found my apartment online. 
And she, um, I sat down with her and I was like, I don't know what's happening. Like it's not working. This manifestation thing is bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. I wasn't quite that dramatic at the time, but she said to me, I read her a part of my script and she said to me, why are you attaching to that particular street? And I was like, Oh, well, I just like, it was just common sense for me. She's like, let it go. You are not in charge of the specifics. You've anchored into how you want to feel, practice feeling that as often as you can, and then let go of how it's going to show up or where it's going to show up or when it's going to show up. Three days later, I was scrolling through Facebook and that's when I found my apartment. And the reason that I knew it was my apartment was because the feelings that I had put in my script, the feelings that I had anchored into, the feelings that I knew in my heart that I wanted to manifest were powerful limitless and expansive. And those were the feelings that I anchored into every single day that I was manifesting this apartment, every single day that I was going through the steps, that I was living out of a suitcase, that I was God knows where, I would anchor into those beautiful feelings. What is it? What will it be today that's going to make me feel powerful? What will make me feel limitless? What will make me feel expansive? Then I'd go and do that. I'd follow my bliss, I'd follow my joy, and I'd be in that beautiful energy of gratitude and receiving. And there were so many beautiful things that I manifested along the way, like literally like five bedroom, multi million dollar mansions to, to stay in it and like, how sit like all of these amazing, incredible, epic things because I was consistently anchoring into those beautiful feelings of gratitude, but powerful, um, limitless and abundant. And so, sorry, powerful, expansive, limitless and abundant. When I walked into my apartment, I did the inspection at night, so I couldn't even see the view. I'm just going to show you really quickly. I'll show you the apartment just so you get an idea and I'm going to keep talking as I'm doing it. So when I walked in, I hope you guys can see that now. When I walked into the apartment, it was nighttime. So I couldn't even see this beautiful view. I couldn't even see um, like literally outside the window. But the second that I walked in, I felt powerful. I felt limitless. I felt expansive and I felt abundant. And I knew straight away that this was my home. So this is me on the day that I moved in. My, mom, my beautiful mom came and helped me move in. Bless her heart. She'd moved me so many times in the last like five or six years that I think she was a bit sick of it. But um, yeah, it was so worth it. And it was just like the most beautiful best day ever. So this was, oh, that was me on a boat. <laughs> um, but this was the apartment that I moved into. Um, and I just knew straight away the second I saw the photos online and the second that I walked through the door for the inspection, I just knew that this was, um, going to be my new home. And the next thing that I want to touch on is probably something that is, Second in importance to anchoring into the feeling and that is keeping the faith. There are so many times you guys and like it's so beautiful to look back on that photo now and be like, oh my gosh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Yes, yes, yes. Like it was so easy. It was so natural. It was so beautiful. There were times when I had no idea what the hell I was doing. There were times when I freaked the F out. There were times when I was so sick of living out of a freaking suitcase that I just wanted to pack it in and just like settle for the first thing that came up like just for the sake of it just for settling but i'm so glad that i did them in every area of my life i'm so glad that i've never settled for less than what it is that i really desired because the second that i moved in it was all freaking worth it but that was one of the things that i did to make sure that i got there was to keep the faith and one of my favorite manifestation teachers um amanda francis she talks about faith like it's not even faith that's right one of her favorite quotes is it's not even faith until it looks like it's not going to happen there were so many times when i could have thrown in the towel there were so many times when i went to inspections when i went to different places when i went to things that i could have just so easily said i'm just going to settle for this like i'm just you know this is good enough this is a roof over my head like i'm really sick and tired of living out of a suitcase i just want to hang up my clothes there are so many times when i could have just like thrown in the towel but for me this was about so much more than just an apartment this and it sounds so superficial when we talk about oh it's just a house to live in or whatever this was about so much more for me than just an apartment this was about me owning my power this was about me understanding and realizing and experiencing my true potential as a manifestation magnet and as the creator or the co-creator with god and the universe and the divine of my own life. I have spent so long, and this is exactly what this is for you guys. This isn't just about manifesting a car or a house or a partner, a relationship or a soulmate, or whatever. It's about understanding and knowing and experiencing your true power as a co-creator with the divine of this one beautiful life that we're living. And that's what this was about. There are so many times in my life, and I don't know what you guys are going through, what you're going through, if this is something that's come up for you lately, but there have been so many times in my life where I've given away my power 
where I didn't know that I had any. So I just let other people tell me who I was. I let other people make decisions for me. I let other people define me. I let other people and circumstances and experiences dictate what I experienced and dictate my circumstances. And this exercise, this whole 12 months for me, of the last few years for me, has just been a divine reminder of how freaking powerful I am and how freaking powerful you are too. How, how powerful we all are and the potential and the ability, the incredible co-creative manifestation, the ability that we have to co-create whatever it is that we want, whether it's peace, whether it's change, whether it's freedom, whether it's about financial abundance, whatever it is. And that was what this exercise was about for me. It goes so much deeper than just manifesting your apartment. And that's what I really wanted to get across today. So once we then get into the feeling, we want to raise our vibration. So I'm just going to re really quickly recap what we've done. Get clear on what it is you want. Release your doubts around it and release the expectations for the outcome. Surrender it up. And this is something that I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, more in a little bit let go of the expectation of how it's going to manifest anchor into the feeling and raise your vibration so i would literally walk around one of my favorite affirmations is the happier i get the easier it gets or the better i feel the more i allow so it's like i made it my life's mission i like did it like it was my full-time job to feel good to anchor into the feelings that i wanted to feel in my oh that i knew that i would feel in my new apartment i'd go for ocean walks i took such beautiful care of myself i did whatever i needed to do consistently to raise my vibration to the state where i knew anything was possible like doubts couldn't freaking touch me because i was vibing on a level where I was so certain that everything that I wanted was already mine. And it was like, I anchored into this feeling of it's already done. It's already happened. This beautiful certainty. I just knew that, you know, it was already coming to fruition because this was, this was just, I've decided. And because I decided that's exactly what was going to happen. So the better I get, yeah, the better you feel, the more that you allow. So do whatever you need to do to get yourself into that high vibrational state where everything is possible to you, where you have access to people and places and opportunities and ideas that you never would have had just vibing at the level that you've always been vibing. Be open to raising your vibration. Be open to feeling better. I would literally, um, despite all the doubts, despite all the fears, whatever was going on, I would literally like when I was um, house sitting, like before I got my apartment, I would spend my days like obviously doing my work and doing that sort of stuff, but literally asking myself how much fun can I have today? And then going and doing whatever came up, like just going and doing that. What would help me have the most fun today? And then just going and doing that. So it wasn't like a, I was just sitting there twiddling my thumbs, like waiting for it to happen, attaching to the outcome. I released it up. I surrendered it up. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to go and have the most fun. And that's like the, the fifth, Tip. I don't even know what we're up to now. I'm just going to go with it. But that's the tip that we're up to now. Surrender it up. Like when you've done, when you've set the intention, when you have gotten really clear on what it is that you want to create, when you've felt the feelings, when you've taken the inspired action, when you've done the things you guys just let it go, surrender it up. Like God's got this. And that energy in itself is just so like, Oh, because you're not struggling. You're not striving. You're just letting it go. So I would literally ask myself in the morning, what is it that's going to make me feel the most powerful, free, limitless, expansive today and go do that. A lot of the times it was going, I was staying in this beautiful house at the time. And a lot of the times it was going for a big walk along like the beautiful beach track, um, just near the house, like beach foresty track areas with the dogs through there. It didn't matter if I had a million things to do. It didn't matter if there was so many other voices in my head telling me that that was like selfish or whatever like that was what I needed to do to feel in that beautiful vibrational state so that's what I did and I took my time with it and I enjoyed it and it was beautiful and blissful so it's like it's half the battle is giving yourself permission to feel really freaking good because when you feel good you attract more things that are going to reinforce to your brain that you feel amazing so it's literally like, um, yeah, I did whatever I needed to do to access that vibrational state. And from there, I could access the ideas. I could access the inspiration. I could access whatever it, it was that I needed to that moved me along the path towards my desired outcome, towards the apartment that I was manifesting. Um, so anchor into the feeling. Don't settle. Don't settle for anything less. You know, your soul knows what it, what's like bang on the money and what's settling. Settling. Don't settle you know the feeling, you felt the feeling, don't settle for anything less than the feeling. Um, let go of the expectations, surrender it up, and then raise your vibe. Do whatever it is that you need to do to get into the vibration, to get into the feeling, to get into the experience of already having what it is that you want. And so in September, like I said, in September, um, I was scrolling through Facebook one day, I and I came across the apartment 
that was it. I knew straight away the second I walked in and it wasn't, it was, there was a lot of doubt and I will just say, like caveat this really quickly so that you know, when you, when what you want starts to come into your reality, for me, there was a lot of doubt and fear that came up in the face of it because it was like, holy shit, I'm actually getting everything I ever wanted. Holy shit, this is better than my wildest dreams. That was another thing really quickly. When you're reading a script, anchor into it's this or something better. So be open to the possibility of it being greater than you ever imagined. That's all we'll say on that. But as you're reading it, it's this or something better, this or something better. God's got better ideas about like for your life than you do, right? So it's either this or it's something better. Be open to it because there was no possible way that I could have even conceived of living in this apartment. But there were so many doubts. How am I going to afford it? What is it? Like, how am I going to, will I even get it? Like, what if like, there's so many doubts and fears that come up, you guys when you're on the brink of getting whatever it is you want, knowing that, be prepared for that and then release them and move through through them using the exercise that we did at the beginning of this video, right? Releasing out your doubts, releasing out your fears and then just letting them go. Um, knowing that they are not ultimate reality, knowing that they have no business in stopping you from having everything that it is that you want and attracting everything that it is that you want in your life. So I hope this training has been so freaking powerful and so beneficial. Um, yeah, moving into my apartment, there was so much, um, you know, doubt and fear that came up towards the end. But once I cleared it and once I released it, it was literally like the most satisfying, blissful, peaceful experience. Um, exciting experience. I just like, I can't even, I can't even communicate it to you guys properly. Like how good it felt to be there and how powerful I felt and how peaceful and blissful and abundant that I felt, um, in that house. And there's just been more things ever since that have just continued to unfold, but you are so worthy of it. Like there is not the only thing stopping you from having everything you want is the belief that you can have it. And once you believe that you're worthy of it, once you believe you can have it, things just start to fall in your lap, things and circumstances and experience and people will just start to align beautifully and fall into place. And it's like life becomes this beautiful sync, like, synchronistic journey of one thing after another manifesting in, co in, in your reality and you, you remember because it's all we're ever doing is remembering that you are co-created with the universe yeah yeah beautiful okay um i hope you guys absolutely love this training um i've had so much fun being here with you all this afternoon um if you have any questions about manifestation, pop them in the comments below this video or shoot me an email and I would be more than happy to do another um, another video and answer like a Q&A style and answer all your videos. And if this is your jam, you guys, if this is like you want to know how to you want to know how to manifest, you want to know how to manifest clients and bigger apartments and but more importantly, like you want to ma manifest opportunities to serve and to fulfill your purpose on this earth, then my six week mentorship program lead and succeed is now open for enrollment. I'm so freaking excited to deliver this content through the, through me and to the world. It's going to be super intensive. Um, so don't even think about signing up if you're not ready to go all in, but it's going to be a super intimate boot camp style six week mentorship. So, uh, we're going to go really deep into co-creating with the divine manifesting your desires doing what you need to do to get in front of the right people so that your voice is heard, that your um, mission is understood and that your, um, your vision is seen. And so you can impact millions and you can do what you're here to do and you can make the, make the meaningful difference that you were really born to make on the planet. So if that sounds like you, I would absolutely love to have you. Um, I'm going to drop all the links below for lead and succeed. Make sure you head on over and sign up via the link on my website. So thank you so much again for being here, you guys absolutely freaking love you. And remember, you are here for a reason. There is an insanely important gift that you only you can bring to the world. And when you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. I love you so much. Have the best day ever. And I can't wait to chat to you soon. Bye, you guys.